desktop or laptop laying around, you also have an old hard drive that you could be using as an external hard drive. All you need to do is remove that storage and put it in an enclosure. Together, they make a pretty cheap external hard drive. But before you go out and do that, there are a few things you need to know. If you pulled your drive from a laptop, it'll be a 2.5 inch drive that looks something like this. If you pulled the internal drive out of a desktop, it'll be a lot bigger, a 3.5 inch drive that looks like this. Most people are gonna be dealing with a SATA drive, but if your drive came from an older machine from before 2003, it'll be a PETA drive, so just keep that in mind. Now that you know what kind of drive you have, it's time to start thinking about the enclosures. So, there are a few things you'll wanna look for. First of all, make sure you're picking the right size for your drive. A 2.5 inch enclosure looks like this, and an enclosure for a 3.5 inch drive looks something like this. One difference that you'll notice with this one is that it'll come with an AC adapter, which makes it a little bulkier and not so good for portability. Next, you'll want to pick your external interface. That determines what kind of connection you'll use to hook up your drive. In most cases, you'll go with a USB 2.0 connection because any computer can connect with that. But if your computer can take USB 3.0 or FireWire, go with that. Those are faster connections. Now that you have those details out of the way, the last thing to consider is what the enclosure is made out of. When you're shopping for enclosures, you'll notice that they come in aluminum or plastic. Always go with aluminum. It'll keep your drive a lot cooler. Okay, once you have your enclosure in hand, all that's left to do is put it together, and that's really simple. I'll grab my hard drive and put these two connectors together. Now I'll take this part, Put it back in the enclosure and screw it in with the provided screws and the provided screwdriver. Give it a good twist and my external hard drive is complete. Now this enclosure came with this cord. It has mini USB on one side and two USB connectors on the other. Reason being that this drive needs more power than normal USB devices. So, I'll put my mini USB in here, connect both of these USB cords to my laptop, and there it is. My computer recognized it just like it would any other drive. So, now I can open it up, browse some really old files on here, or I can reformat it and start with a clean slate. If you have any questions during this process, please let me know on Twitter and check out the accompanying blog for more tips. For CNET.com, I'm Sharon Vaknin.